All right, good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Facebook Live. Social media for social change. All right. I applied for Martin Luther King's job. All right. And this is the results of it. All right. On February the 2nd, on February the 2nd at 8.58 a.m., I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, Governor O'Malley's mom machine, and the money they make behind the war on drugs. All right. I put it in books. And I got mail receipts to prove it. This is for Eric Barron of the Department of Justice because I need a federal and a state audit. Eric Barron. This is Brian Frosch. 2016. Eric Barron. That's Judge Mary Barbera. I mean, Mayor Brandon Scott. This is President Biden. See that? Visitors, State's Attorney's Office. Marilyn Mosby, she got that. I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the criminality in the courts behind the war on drugs. That's Governor Hogan. Governor Hogan's trying to reinvent stop and frisk and zero tolerance. And he's trying to do it in the black community. Reaganomics 101. That's Delegate Sheila Roof. And that's Judge Mary Barbera. All right, Mary Barbera. I'm a whistleblower in the courts, and if you contact Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court, you got my paperwork. President Biden got my paperwork. This is about Baltimore. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we on mask in Baltimore. That case right there. This case right here. Shorty, pull your mask up. No. I'm running for governor in 2020. And part of my governor's stance, part of my program, is exposing the corruption and the racism in the courts. We're talking about voter suppression by the Democratic and Republican Party. See that? Attorney Disciplinary Committee. All right. My property was stolen in 2011. This property was stolen in 2011. The entire contents, and that's a, that's a, September 2011, you see that? That's a body attachment. And nobody ever got locked up for that shit. That's a body attachment. This is what I did. I was making a movie. And I used the toilet to do it. This is a political statement. All right, it's making a movie about the war on drugs. Just like the Westboro Baptist Church, I got a right to protest. That's Marilyn Mosby, because I pressed charges again against Scott Schellenberger. All right, that's two or four. See that? Computer. See that? Dwayne Shorty Davis. Your state's attorney had this since when? Since April. Since April. You're using your courts to protect your corruption. I put this toilet in front of the courthouse. All right, a toilet. Because the toilet don't care if you black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. See that? Do not destroy this evidence. 
Do not destroy this evidence. I told y'all that back then. This is the criminal case. And Eric Barron is now working with the Department of Justice. Eric Barron got emails today at this very moment. He got three emails. They went through, Cher, through Sarah Marquette. She works for the Department of Justice. Sarah Marquette destroyed this evidence in 2014. I gave you this in 2010. All right, I gave you this. I got everything on film. And it's about your prison industry, like the Khalif Browder story. Says it right here. Whistleblower. See that? Whistleblower. A whistleblower in your prison industry. That's perfectly legal. I'm a whistleblower in your prison industry, and these are the people that know about it. Like I said, put it in a book. Yeah, it's all in the book. It's all in the book. It's all in the book. FCC violations. I got ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN. Yeah, y'all put me out the presidential debate town hall. Man, that's not going to stop this from coming out. I'm running for governor in 2022. I'm running for governor in 2022 as a black Republican, as a free black man. Part of my, my, my thing is about exposing this corruption in the Democratic Party. These are the elected officials that knew about it. All right, see that? Broshin knew about it. Mornaham, Gladden, McIntosh, Telma Branch, McFadden, GOP Carter. You see that? GOP Carter knew about this. Y'all get mad because I be shitting on politicians. GOP Carter knew all about this. It's a movie release. These are movie releases. All right. I'm running for governor for the state of Maryland in 2022. Black lives don't matter. Black bodies do. It's the money behind the black bodies that matter. You need our black votes. Now you're going to hear our black voices. In 2022, you got to address this issue of mass incarceration. In 2022, you got to address the war on drugs. In 2022, you got to give me what belongs to me. The state of Maryland owe me $136 million. Governor Hogan, Brian Frosch, Peter Francott, Al Retmer, Johnny Oleski, Chief Hyatt, T.J. Smith, Hassan O'Donnell, Ivan Bates, Warren Brown, Dwight Pettit, J. Wendell Gordon. Man. My paperwork legit. Received in the courts.